renting out one of their bungalows that are connected to the hotel. Yes, $5,000 a night would come with a butler and a chauffeur. Everybody got it? All right, good job. Hey, we got good juju in here. Nobody honks at us. <laughs> That's awesome. So we're on Rodeo Drive now, everyone. Yep. This is the trees. Remember I was telling you about having those same trees planted on both sides of the street. This is certainly a street that you can see the great statement that it does make. There's a pretty light pink house here on the right-hand side. This was Marilyn Monroe's first home that she purchased here in Beverly Hills. Now some of these homes are the oldest homes here in Beverly Hills. Some were built in the early 1900s. Also some of the most expensive homes because of the location. Look at these guys here on the right with these big vine swings. We're going to head down into the shopping part of Rodeo. The first store we're going to see, of course, will be Julia Roberts and Pretty Woman. Remember the, when she went out the first day, she was wearing her little hooker clothes, and those ladies were so rude to her. That was at the store, the Badgley Mishka. And then the second day, she went back to the same store after she was all dressed up and had shopping bags. And they were so eager to help her. And she says, oh, no, ladies, you were not commissioned. You made a big mistake. Big mistake. Yep. Uh -huh. I'll show you that store first. Then I'll show you all the other ones that will be cruised down Rodeo Drive. Even the House of Michonne. Now, Mr. Michonne was a very exclusive uh, men's clothing designer. Passed away a couple years ago. His brother and son keep the store open and bring his fancy cars down for everybody to see, like his Bugattis and his Rolls Royces and so on. But you can't just walk into his store. You have to call and make an appointment. They run your credit card. You have to be ready to spend a minimum of $1,500 on a necktie, for example. Very exclusive. He loved the color yellow. left-hand side. This is the longest park here in California, excuse me, in Los Angeles. It happens to be right here in Beverly Hills. 